Hi, I'm Millicent Walker. Here's your Channel TV Morning News update for Wednesday, August the 28, 2019. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission says it is collaborating with the Federal Bureau of Investigation, FBI, to intensify the fight against internet fraud. The zonal head of the EFCC, Mohamed Rabo, says prior to these collaborative efforts with the FBI, the Commission had launched sustained operations on perpetrators of computer-related fraud since 2018, resulting in over 200 arrests. Staying with the corruption fight, Senator Oju Zokalo has denied the EFCC's allegations that he stole 7.6 billion naira while he served as governor of Abia State between 1999 and 2007. At the resumed hearing on Tuesday, he said Abia under him had no such funds and that the monthly allocation of the state when he took over in June 1999 was 168 million naira. Meanwhile, the Lagos State House of Assembly has inaugurated a committee to probe the purchase of 820 buses by the administration of the immediate past governor, Mr. Akil Miambodi. The House said it rejected the proposal to spend 17 billion naira to purchase the buses in the 2017 budget and that in the 2018 and 2019 budgets, the state government proposed 24 billion naira and 7 billion naira respectively, but were not still approved. On the international scene, the Jair Bolsonaro government in Brazil wants nothing to do with contributions by leaders at the G7 meeting in France to help fight the wildfires that continue to ravage the Amazon rainforest. Bolsonaro's chief of staff, Oint Lerazzoni, criticized the French president Emmanuel Macron for not being able to avoid a predictable fire in the Notre Dame, a part of the world's heritage. And in sports, Team Nigeria has moved up to fourth on the medals board after winning additional eight gold medals at the 2019 Africa Games. Falasha de Lawal claimed three gold medals in women's weightlifting 59 kilogram snatch and clean jerk, while Joy Eze won three gold medals in the women's weightlifting 64 kilogram snatch and clean jerk. And that's the morning news update. Please join us later today for the evening recap. I'm Millicent Wonga. Thank you for watching.